Greetings, hello and welcome back to some more Long War of the Chosen with a little bit of a hacking mission in the tunnels. Now, I just realized, so this has the automated defense set up. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. And on most maps, that also means you have a bunch of turrets, right? Around on the street. But. Uh, Lack of street, which should also mean lack of turrets on the street, because you know there's no street. Yeah. Um, who do I? Ha! Huh. I do not have anyone with reduced detection range in this squad. That's fine, I guess. We march toward enlightenment. But I still think like Templars should have like, as if they were carrying an SMG. Shorter detection range. Onward. But, you know, that's just kind of my opinion. I'm gonna do it because I want to. Mm -hmm. We can't dilly dally around here too much. So. So, if we do just some careful leapfrogging with the team. I'm not lead, not uncovering too many tiles at once. I think we can move a little bit faster than I often do. Yeah, I think this this was uh, the team we equipped when we had all the money in the world. My officer trooper, it's really just the two of you. Went up there. Hostile targets in sight. So, um, hmm. Not the automated defenses I was expecting. Is there any good reason not to just open up here? I hear a mech moving in the background. And I don't see that trooper right now, but you know what, if the officer cannot spot down here, well, I actually want to move somewhere where I can see the officer. Mm, that should work. And I see the trooper. Bonus points for that. Ah, yeah, put you on a watch. A good old tea time teamwork. Set them up. And knock them down. All right, that worked, and we still have concealment over here. Let's move walking through Castlevania all over again. Interesting. So, I'm assuming that if I come over here, that you will not move in this direction and reveal my guy. But rather move towards me, right? Thank you. I cannot kill you like that. I don't want to kill you like that. I also don't want to use my running gun on that. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's move you up, because that's where the objective is. And shoot this. Maybe we get a grace. 
I just wanted some focus for our Templar. There's no excuse for being an asshole. Unless you're funny with it. Well. Well. Well, well, well. Can get up here to get that loot. That's fine. All right. Carry on. We've got the chosen right where we want them. It's time to strike. So many choices. Dude, you didn't get the message last time. <laughs> so little time. I mean, that's the other thing. He's kind of eating my watches. Earth that. That's one of the elders chosen, and it's not gonna make things easy on us. Let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible. There's yeah, about that. To what I do. Also. Done. Was that quick enough, Bradford? Uh, I'm not. I'm not liking that. I like. Don't think that's the healthy way of doing things here. Okay, I saw two max and something else in the uh, um, drone that makes it seven enemies because you don't count. Sorry to break it to you, buddy. I assume you don't have a shot on that drone now. Okay. Hmm. I guess we could just. Move up, activate the drone, and then shoot it. Yes. Six eighty-three. Can see it from here. All right. Always be moving. Nice moves. I guess you can pick up that loot next turn. I'll go quickly. And you sneak up and then I like how that trooper is still there. He's like, am I, am I dead? Am I really dead? Can I not have a saving throw on this? No. Uh, someone should have thrown an evac by now. Uh, and not you, because, you know. not gonna work for me and you are probably too far back let's see if we can throw it on the other side of the train here yeah I think that's close enough to the objective Men is requesting evac this is firebrand evac request confirmed hold tight They're activating you're not activating well do I have a surprise for you guys? Um, I'm probably going to do, be doing some reckless stuff with Jet this turn. You know how it is. Let's give you an 8 protocol. Give you an overwatch. Did you uh, already get some training? No. But we could focus fire, which does nothing because we have AP runs anyway. do what I would have liked him to do. I think he's on one of those top spots. 
Uh, you can't move. It looks like you can't really get line of sight. Well, at least not yet. Um, let's have you... Oh, I'm gonna probably run gun this turn anyway, right? Depending on where we end up. Can't reach that guy, can't reach that guy, okay. Do this first. See that guy, so we can probably uh, stun gun him. Assuming you can take down Mr. First Sergeant. Yeah, sure. 36. What? I guess you have the defense upgrade. You have tactical sense. That's just tactical nonsense. I had turns it into a 46, right? Then I could use focus fire, and if I had done that at the start, then it would already be 10 better, no, uh, 15 better even. I think we run and gun up here, stun gun the engineer. Take the shot. Yeah, we take the shot. Um, there's no way I can move someone out of line of sight so he doesn't get the full tactical sense buff. Unless I find the magical place where Jet can still stun gun the guy in the back, but it's not in line of sight of the sergeant, which does not exist. Okay, let's take the shot. Maybe should have gone for suppression there. can get a shot on the flanked guy over there. I'm not sure how far in I can go without activating the max, but I think it's time we do kind of this. Feel the power of the Templar. You can, yeah, you can also. Right? Let's sure. take the shot on the engineer with you, so that we have your overwatch against the max if they activate. Ah, oh, that's good to see. Perfect. Um, we sneak up some more. Oh, that's I'm gonna do it because I want to. Sneak up just a little bit. Uh, we just do the same thing with everybody else. You come here. Ready. 
It is clear. Uh, you come here. Triple Macbot. Hey, free focus. I'm sorry, what? You, you didn't even you didn't even really activate? Just like a little bit only. You don't have shots. You kinda see one of them. Alright, um we have teamwork, so I could move you. Teamwork, move, take a shot at that mech. Or we could just Well the haywire is not at all close to being a guaranteed, so no, I think uh, we do that. Let me see the others. Okay, 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 okay. Two HP. I promise you don't have run gun available, but we do have actually a, a little bit of gap there now to take shots at that mech. Fantastic. Okay. To take shots at any of the mechs. Okay, let's take this shot first. Yeah, that's the wrong mech. I should have double checked that. Okay, but you, you can see that that right one. Yes. Okay. So let's take that shot. Fantastic. They die like everything else. Why is the loot in that spot? Don't even care about this too much. Alright, then I guess you can then finish off that one. More loot! What was that? Didn't catch it. More loot, I just said it. And then we're just gonna parry tank you. Well, you know, I think someone still has a st still has a steady shot here with a sniper rifle. A faux pas, if nothing else. That was clean so far. Hmm. Now I know some people who say, uh, "Or oh, just always go for the large one." It's half the, the chance, but that's more than twice the the reward. So that's worth it. I think it doesn't matter which one you fail. Should have taken the large. 
Zbliżam się do celu. Confirm successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Sure. I can cover it. Hein? I hope it's worth it. Yeah, we, we want to be want to be ready, please, when the evac arrives. Could you could you join us here? Oh, I think that spot's actually not gonna work because of the yeah. Looks like they called in. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. No, apparently it's gonna work. No. Ready to boogie. At this point, we have ten ability points that we need to um, remember to not use. I haven't looked up yet the command to like just remove them from the pool. And also didn't pay attention last mission if we got alloys in Illyrium, which are supposed to get from the Chosen now. I was just thinking, um, doing covert actions to get to the Hunter Stronghold as soon as possible. But then it's still the Force Level 20 the Hunter the there, right? Are incredibly resilient. Despite our victory <sighs> over them today, we still have much to learn if we wish to destroy them permanently. I am not sure what the best approach against that is going to be. I also don't know which skill to pick here. Um... To one ammo. That's gonna be fairly nice. So we took the tanky option here of 45. We could continue going tanky. Um, extra conditioning, even though we don't have killer instinct, like having more run and gun more often is always good. Same thing with aggression. More crit is always more better. Although I think with close and personal and aggression, you quickly come to the point where you have more, have more than 100% crit, right? You have 40 crit from, let's say you usually as an assault attacking flanked targets, right? And from point blank range. So 40 crit from being flanked, I think 20 crit from the shotgun, 30 from close personnel, 10 from your laser sight, that's already 100 crit. So aggression helps if you're not flanking or helps against targets that can't be flanked etc etc i'm more keen i think on um having you more tanky even more longer formidable yeah probably probably just gonna go all the way down here well, Master Sergeant is going to be a difficult choice, uh, after all. <clears throat> so yeah. No promotions, no bonds. But yeah, I don't see um, any Alloys Illyrium, and I... I'm gonna have to review the footage. Like normally, if you defeat Chosen in the current version, you are supposed to get five alloys, five Illyrium per level of the Chosen. So I don't think we got 40 of each from the last two missions. Now we're sitting on a lot of alloys uh, from that one smash and grab that only gave alloys. Um, hmm. Oh well. Carry on. Resistance mech again. Can we just pick you up right now? 
Yeah, let's just pick that up. Alright. So, first of all, we can throw in an engineer or rather gremlin to reduce the time on the covert actions. We have a chance to deal the elders then, a great blow, should you wish us to, Commander. So we have much more missions available than we had previously, including something like gainability points. So a lot of interesting stuff. I'm just looking, do we have reduce avatar progress even? Surprised that's still in the game. Is there nothing without an ambush chance? I mean, 18 intel is not much, but 6 days, that's nothing. As long as we can reduce the failure chance. An ambush, I'm not sure how difficult the ambush missions are going to be. Um, totally honest with you. Let me have a quick quick checkup. So I have Jason and Chris in bond training. So to me, in my mind, that makes sense then to have other people from this squad. Well, they are in bond training, he's on, on aim duty. Those other four, well, I guess I don't think we can use the spark for um, missions, but we can totally send Natalie and Chris on a um, covert action. There's something to be said about just bonding them this way. Okay, let's check the gather intel mission and let's say we're gonna take Chris and Natalie. No failure chance, just a little bit of ambush. Okay. Now, oh, here's the big question a little bit of ambush chance. How much equipment do you commit to that? Um, I think we can spare laser stand guns, we can spare the armor platings, the med kits are free, flashbangs are free. You're not going to be shooting anyone and slicing has to be good enough with the old sword. But you get a nanoscale vest and a med kit. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. And it's supplies to power to upgrade that further. What's the upgrade here anyway? Forty supplies. <clears throat> that would allow us to put another engineer in here and throw someone in here for more power. I assume, yeah, decreases duration even more with another engineer. And I think, we, like, with the workshop up, we can afford committing two engineers to the resistance ring. I think, yeah, I see that I'm too late on the resistance ring. I was kind of sleeping on that because the covert actions that were given were too long and too little chance of success. But with a little bit of investment in form of engineers, you can get some constant supplies, intel and stuff from there. All right, um, fair enough. So I think the plan here is now, we're gonna scan this, then we're gonna pay a visit to the black market. Oh, we still have, when is this coming in? Two days 18, yeah, that's fine. Um, 
Pay a visit to the black market, sell some stuff that we don't need. Handing us back. Let me have a quick look. How many more wounded? Three people wounded. 27 hours. 18 hours, 5 days. Kinda wanna pull that, that scientist there sooner rather than later, but let's let's keep them in there. I'm not finding enough missions at the moment. I'm not finding enough missions with a good decent timer at the moment. Lip 2 for 20. Mm, strength's up to 3 again. We can probably do that with with a buff, well, with a boost, right? I wouldn't mind liberating this region. Gives us also free network towers for cheaper contacts in irre irrelevant directions. Um, I'm just not sure. No, we, we're not doing any, any major missions right now. Like tea, tea time could probably do that with five. I'm, I'm being a little bit picky here. Like, okay, Lip2 is always a rescue VIP. I don't need another engineer, I think. We're almost done excavating everything, and we have a, a workshop in a great position in the base that doubles our engineers. Yeah, I'm gonna be picky, both on, hey, I don't have enough missions, not like that, and on, I want a better reward. I want a scientist or a soldier. Avenger plotting new course. I also don't want to spend my intern necessarily on a boost when I want to expand to North America. You are interested in laser sites. That's an interesting. Also, I installed the black market usage mod, which then shows you technically that the drone it's probably hard to hard to see on YouTube. Um drone racks are used for gremlins. Red screen rounds, etc. Trooper corpses are used for armor plating. Now the thing it it only shows you stuff you already researched. So like if we need trooper corpses for spider suits, we wouldn't quite know it yet. Um, and if I think we can just get rid of all basic laser sights here. And now the icons disappeared. What? Okay. Mind shields, new whips, and I think they also uh, they also used for advanced siams, which we can't build yet. Um, what else? I think I'm gonna. Yeah, it's just two supplies, but I'm gonna get rid of focus PCS here. If I see them, I, w I need some money, I think, to build mech weapons and stuff. Like, basic hat triggers are nice, but I think a little bit of money is nicer. So little we can actually sell. I think I did a big, big, big sale just recently. Hmm. Thirty-nine supplies it does not seem like that was worth the trip. Um, 
not feeling great, only 17 in medium course. Guess we can sell like five more trooper corpses. I'm sure we're gonna find plenty more in the future. A few expanded magazines. One more shot in the magazine is not gonna make the difference anyway. Yeah, can just get rid of them. Mm. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not going to be upgrading the um, resistance ring anytime soon, unless we get a big um, input of cash from that smash and grab mission. All right, I think that's enough to buy some uh, weapons and stuff if we have an Avenger defense and need some extra gear. Let's scan down there. Australia. Find us some good missions. Another important step forward in our research. Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. It's still inspired. I will make that our highest priority. I do like my grappling suits just way too much. Alright, let's see. You will recover 20 wounds. What's this? Three days to 11. Like, considering we have nine people on Intel over there, that seems like a, such a short timer again. This, on the other hand, James Johnson. Ah, thank you on the character pool. But that just means Commander, we'll need to have we get someone else in there. The skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Now, if I send you guys out there, I don't have you for the Avenger defense. Also, I. Doing a revealed start called extraction, I think that's more a thing for. Hmm. Oh, right, zombie is, is officer doing officer training, right? Yeah, this there is the big advantage of I can be lazy and just send you out like this. And I think in this case, I'm also not going to give you an upgraded weapon, or you. Um, with that mech rifle, we have... Me... Hang on. Okay. Mech long rifle. Nah, it's an extremely light mission. That's going to be good enough for that. And we keep the supplies and the better weapons for um, the potential Avenger defense if we have to do that. And we do have one concealed person here. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. It's gonna be easy enough, I think. All right, uh, th that mission was also coming up. No, hang on. Oh, okay. So here, here's the issue. <laughs> uh, battle scanners are complete. Um, so first of all, we're gonna have in 16 hours the full full retail coming up here. Uh, second of all. That's a data tab. That means the Chosen Hunter will show up. There's no way we can fight against the tier 4 Chosen Hunter, so I'm, I'm still thinking we're gonna just console kill him and mop up the rest of the mission. It's... I would prefer fi uh, playing a campaign without any bugs, right? But, yeah. I don't think we can just um, 
to move it. Like someone was also suggesting, hey, can you just console kill him and then spawn him in at the appropriate level? You can't. Like, at least I don't know how you would do that. Um, I think you can spawn in the Chosen, but it will just pull the current level from the campaign status. I don't think you can modify that level in any way. Um, but I'm also not an expert on, on XCOM console commands. Um, this is gonna suck. Well, <clears throat> and I'm not just gonna fail this mission and, and lose all my rebels here. That would be just a city. Um, before I put a cut in here, I'm gonna have a quick check. Now we have what? 20 people available, only one person wounded. Yeah, so we should be fine. We have enough gear, we have enough people to handle that mission. And also to handle that of our retaliation. Um, might even bring our. Well, do you save up points on that? On promotions? I don't think so. I just need to finish that training. Anyway, putting a cut in here. Um, yeah, I'll probably throw some comments in a, in one of the previous episodes that hasn't gone live yet. As in, hey, by the way, how do we handle retaliations going forward? But I, at the moment, I only see the option of killing him with the console, doing the mission normally, and just carrying on with the campaign. At the grand scheme of things, um, a Long War 2 campaign, or Long War of the Chosen, has like, what, 120, 140 missions at least. If there's going to be seven missions in there where we have to kill the Chosen with the console and make it easier for us because of a bug, I don't think the impact is going to be so huge. A little bit uh, frustrating, though. Anyway, um, cutting it here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.